In the year 170 AD, Marcus Aurelius, Emperor of the Roman Empire, found himself amidst a turbulent period of history. The empire was under attack on multiple fronts, with the Parthian Empire in the east and various Germanic tribes in the north threatening its stability. It was also a time marked by the Antonine Plague, a devastating epidemic that ravaged the Roman population. Despite his status as a powerful leader, Marcus Aurelius was a man of great humility and wisdom. He was a devoted student of Stoicism, a philosophy that guided him in his approach to both personal and political matters. Stoicism emphasized the importance of virtue, reason, and self-discipline, principles that Marcus sought to embody in his actions and decisions. As the empire's troubles grew, Marcus was often called away from Rome to lead military campaigns against its enemies. It was during these times, away from the comforts of the imperial court, that he began to reflect on his life, his purpose, and the nature of the world around him. In the quiet moments between battles, amidst the cold and unforgiving landscape of the northern frontiers, he found solace in his thoughts and in the wisdom of the Stoic philosophers who had come before him. In these introspective moments, Marcus was drawn to the practice of journaling, a means to explore and make sense of the chaos that surrounded him. He sought not only to understand his own mind, but also to find a deeper connection with the principles of Stoicism that guided him. He believed that by putting his thoughts and experiences to parchment, he could gain a clearer perspective on the challenges he faced, both as a ruler and as a human being. It was within this context that Marcus Aurelius began writing what would later become known as the Meditations. Far from the grandeur of Rome and amidst the stark realities of war, he found inspiration in the Stoic teachings that had shaped his life. With each word, he sought not only to express his gratitude for the people and lessons that had influenced him, but also to explore the complexities of the human condition and the virtues that could guide him through the turbulent times ahead. We will learn the letters that later became meditation through a set of short stories in this series and learn what makes Stoicism one of the rising philosophies that many of the top athletes and CEOs adopt on their life.